Hey folks, I want to make this video today to show you what a bad differential sounds like. When I let off the gas, it doesn't make that noise. It sounds like a bad CV axle, the way it clicks and makes that noise when you're turning or if you're giving a gas in any kind of load, it'll click. But if I let off the gas, I could turn it full lock either direction while moving and it does not click yeah you hear that clicking that is so bad um, those bearings are so bad that I could actually move the axles a little bit up and down um, they've been bad since last August June somewhere in there and I've been waiting for a new differential or a used differential um, the new ones are about 2,000 plus shipping and handling of a couple hundred. Uh, a used one right now is 750, 800 bucks plus $199 shipping. So I'm paying almost $1,000 for a used front differential because Dodge decided to discontinue these differentials. Well, as a main drive component, the worst thing Dodge should ever do or any car manufacturer is stop making it. It's like stop making your transmission. Why? What would be the point of that? It doesn't help. Well, I'm going to be going up a hill and I'm going to be putting this under a little bit of load so you'll be able to hear the actual clicking. Now, when you're going fast like this, it doesn't click. It makes like a wah, 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 kind of a noise, just a, a grindy that noise. Now, like I said, I replaced the prop shaft. I replaced, it's the mid drive shaft from your transfer case to your front differential. I replaced my transfer case because I was told that it could be the chain in my transfer case that's loose. It's very common. Uh, so I got a different differential uh, a transfer case. I put that in, still same noise. Replaced that, that prop shaft or that mid shaft. I replaced both CV axles and both wheel hub assemblies and it still makes the clicking noise. So it basically nickel and dimed me by listening to mechanics telling me that it's this, this, this. And the only person that did differentials here no longer lives here. So I'm stuck doing it all myself. Uh, the transmission shops don't want anything to do with it. B&B Dodge wants uh, about $2,600 to do it. It takes me an hour and a half, two hours to drop the damn thing. So I don't know what the big deal is, why they're going to charge so much. Uh, so I found a used one uh, at the Naples Auto Parts for $350 with the electronic limited slip. Thank God. Because it's taken me since last August, and I believe I got it at the very end of March. Uh, so it took me that long just to find a differential for the 05 uh, to 2010 Jeep Grand Cherokees. Uh, if you have the Quadra Drive 2 setup on any vehicle, Chevy, Dodge, whoever, um, you're going to have a problem because the Quadra Drive 2 with the electronic limited slip is very hard to find. And like I said, they stopped making them. It's the worst thing they could have done. But at the end of this light here, when I take off, I want you guys to get a real good close uh, sound. I'm going to roll my window down on the driver's side so it's not as loud with the exhaust because uh, I got a 3-inch exhaust on this. Uh, So we're going to take off so maybe you could hear it. It sounds more clicky. Not too loud. You hear the clicking? And then it goes into a constant grumbly noise. And then you'll, there's also vibration when I take off. You'll notice vibration uh, in the steering wheel, like a, a really good amount of vibration. Yeah, you can hear that that's pretty bad um, but the vibrations are even worse uh, it's like a not like a vibration like this but it's a real fast shake shimmer hesitant kind of like something's holding it back and I notice that it happens uh, when I give it a lot of acceleration the clicking goes away a lot but the vibrations happen a lot more so if you guys are having that problem uh, change your differential but be wary because the electronic limited slip is very hard to find and once again I'm gonna give it some acceleration so you can hear it
I hope you guys could hear it in the mic and if not I got one more turn here on the beginning of 652 you will definitely be able to hear it because I'm going to be turning and it's going to be adding a lot more stress on the bearings uh, when you're turning uh, but it does sometimes quiet it because it adds force to the one side of the bearing yeah you hear that that's that's no good so that's right hand reviews guys just showing you guys exactly what a bad differential sounds like and believe me they're expensive